Hello and welcome to Orpheum Brick. You might be wondering why my rocket on screen is missing its upper stages. Well, today's video is a showcase of the mod Grapefruit, which stands for Gateway Residence for Astronauts, providing enhanced facilities for researching and understanding interstellar travel, made by form user Dawn0303, which allows you to turn a fuel tanks into habitation modules for space stations. And as you see on screen, this is done by attaching a converter module available in various sizes to the bottom of, of the fuel tank, attaching uh, these uh, modules and using these uh, side mounted nodes as you can see. Now uh, these modules only allow the only allow for them to be used by crew once they have been assembled, which uh, in future will, uh, re will require the fuel to be drained from the fuel tank. However, this mod is still in early development and so you should expect this to change, and as, uh, and as of right now, they do not require fuel to be drained. And as you can see, they're attached not to the fuel tank, but to the converter, so make sure to auto-stretch if you don't want them to wobble. Going back to a rock on screen, which you can see launching, this is a little wet workshop on a space station, like the original Skylab concept. The main stage fuel tank will be converted into useful uh, habitable space on orbit, and the converter is in that upper fairing. And so, well yeah, this is, this is a interesting uh, mod, and as I said, it's early in development, and uh, by the time you are to be watching this, there might already be a new update out for it. But yeah, this mod, I've, I've always wanted something like this, but I never knew how to do it. See, I'm happy that uh, this uh, mod has uh, fun. Like somebody figured out how to do this in a mod, and that this is actually released. And yeah, so again, it's early in development, so expect for there to maybe be some issues. I found it actually uh, functions pretty well right now. And so this rocket, it's a one and a half stage orbit from the original Atlas. So yeah, we use those boosters and the main stage to get all the way to orbit. You saw the, uh, the, the aerodynamic shell Jason. And now you can see the solar panels deploy, the habitats extend, and the fuel is vented from the tank. But this space station, due to the limited uh, space inside that uh, converter fairing, it doesn't have any docking ports. It's missing on some kind of necessary features. So I'm launching my mini shell to, to uh, do some uh, sap work on it. And you've probably seen this before. If you haven't, you can then watch the video originally showcasing this. I made some modifications to it, mainly adding some extra RCS thrusters to it, which I mean, it made it more maneuverable on orbit. But uh, that's going to cause some issues for re entry, which uh, you'll see uh, later on. And so I'm launching this with a full crew and importantly to uh, level 5 engineers on board and so we can do some EVA construction and you can see the side that uh, used to be separating and all right there were various delays with recording this due to midterm exams and KSP2 for science releasing so it's been a while since I had done like, there was a major gap between when I did the first and second missions I had to uh, check the map for you to uh, figure out uh, what what the uh, orbit of the station uh, looked like. And it was an inclined orbit, so I had to do a inclination adjustment after this extremely long uh, orbital insertion burn. And you might have been able to see in the payload bay of the orbiter. There's some um, adapters and some docking ports, as I wasn't able to put them in a uh, cargo storage uh, container. However, they could uh, fit inside the cargo bay when placed, so I kind of drank the solution by just instead of uh, putting them in a container, just having them attached, which it still works the same, and again, it physically works. And so, we're already uh, pretty close to a rendezvous, just cleaning off our relative velocity. Still using that upper stage. This thing probably has uh, too much delta V. And so skipping ahead, we've uh, killed off our relative velocity. 
but we can't dock, there's no docking ports yet. And so, we can get here, we can get a Kerbal on UVA, and have them go over to the station, and for some reason I forgot to turn on their light, well, their EVA lights, and we can move a adapter over to the space station. I decided it would look cooler if I had two Kerbals on UVA. And so, I did that, finally remembered to turn on the lights, and started attaching the adapters, which are I added because the uh, nodes for the docking ports on the uh, converter are they're only uh, they're only sized for the many docking ports. Which, if I have a suggestion for the uh, mod author, maybe make it so there's some um, you can uh, you can change the size of the uh, nodes for the docking ports on the converters because I find I rarely ever use the uh, the uh, mini size docking port. Or you, or you can just do what I was doing and use, uh, use uh, the adapters. And so we can dock. And we can now do an EVA tour, or well, IVA tour. So there is the converter with uh, a fully detailed IVA. And also the IVAs in this mod likely will be updated in future. And yeah, you can see the uh, various uh, modules, the laboratory module. And now this uh, mod, it does not have a, it does not have full compatibility, full compatibility with the Kerbalism yet. And so, for instance, up here you'll see a storage module. This does not store life support consumables as of yet, but that is likely to change. Yeah, I, I, this is this. Yeah, the IVAs are actually really well done for uh, such a, uh, uh, such a for such a early in development mod. However, the setup of the ESP station is not yet complete. So once we time warp into the light, we can attach the remaining docking ports. Also add some batteries. But uh, yeah, I'll need a future mission to add some extra. Just to add some extra life support stuff so uh, we can have a lo long duration stays at the space station. And at, th at this point, I have no idea what I was trying to do, but I really messed up controlling the, that uh, EVA. And you can get a nice overview of the uh, station. And so now, the uh, station is complete. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but uh, you saw when I was initially uh, showcasing how to uh, add the uh, habitat modules, there is a two variants, indicator and no indicator, that uh, toggles that uh, ring you uh, see for each of the modules. And so now the uh, shuttle can undock and do orbit. I'm not aiming for the Kerbal Space Center, I'm aiming for a Kerbal Constructs uh, runway that it just happened to be a more convenient location. And I actually had to do two burns to adjust my trajectory. And now, for some reason, I don't know why, but the heat tolerance of these Mark II parts in my save has dropped for no reason. And, and now, and, and now the, during some attempts of the re-entry, the uh, craft melted. And I was able to get it through the atmosphere just barely without melting, which yeah, this is the attempt you're seeing now. And also, I, for unrelated issues, uh, well, unrelated reasons, I ran out of electric charge on various attempts. That's why I have these solar panels deployed, which yeah, it does mean the solar panels will get destroyed. But it, it uh, prevents the craft from tumbling out of control. I also turned off the life support processes. Because uh, for the uh, few minutes for re-entering, they really don't make a difference. And you can see the uh, thermal readout uh, I have open. The uh, mat, like the uh, heating of the uh, cockpit is getting extremely high. It's a it actually gets like a 99.5% or higher. And I've tried to deploy those, can those canards to... Uh, 
further slow down the craft. And I even deployed the solar panels because they have some radiative, radiative qualities. But now we've just barely survived re-entry and now skipping forward a bit to make a landing at this uh, runway. No, I actually don't remember the name of this uh, Google Constructs uh, airbase. I'll have to check. But yeah, it's one of the ones that comes with JNSQ. And it's not going to be as smooth as landing. I, you can see I've already deployed a drogue chute and yeah, a bit uh, unstable on landing. But the craft survives. And so we can deploy the brakes any moment now. Well, I was closing that window. And, well, yeah. So, thoughts on this mod? This is a really interesting concept. It actually functions pretty well for how early it is in development, and I highly recommend it. So, well, I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and goodbye!